Austin Cooper. Daddy's home every day. <laughs> Thursday, September 8, 2016, and Anderson Cooper is here. Thank you for being here. Love, love, love having you here. That was crazy when we came out. Tony Pig forgot my name, which is amazing. Really? Thank you, Tony, for finally pulling it out of thin air. That's funny. He goes, uh, please welcome so Kelly. Um, I, uh, I saw on your, uh, on your Instagram, it's your kid's first day of school today. First day of school, yes. How was that this morning? Um, it was, it really began last night, uh -huh. and it began with what my daughter uh, thought she should wear to school versus what I thought she well, should wear Well, it's so funny school. you said that because I was looking at the Instagram, and I was looking at what she was wearing to school, and I was like, I wonder how long that process of selection took. How, well, how, what was it? It's still happening because I'm sure, and I, and I know this for a fact, that she definitely put what I didn't want her to wear in that backpack somewhere. <laughs> so there will be a change. There will be a costume change. Uh -huh. But I, you know, we had rules when I went to public school. We had rules like your, your shorts and your skirts had to be a certain length. Mm -hmm. Now it's almost in the reverse. It's almost like they cannot be a certain length <laughs> or you'll have no social life ever. <laughs> you know, I kept saying to her, I should be able to see your shorts underneath your blazer. You know what I mean? Okay, the blazer right, was yes. hanging longer. Oh, and she said, she goes, well, that's the look. That's how it's supposed to look. And I don't even understand why you're trying to start me out on a bad first day. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? Whereas it's uh -huh. so easy with boys. Right, yes. You know, he just, he put on what I put out for him. I go, right. you're wearing this? He goes, okay. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, well, so he's sweet. the sweetest person. He's the, the sweetest planet. person yeah, yeah. on the planet. I always you know? remember my first day of school, like, I, I remember I would always get a new pair of sneakers, but this, I grew up when, like, the, we didn't, there weren't, as, I, as far as I knew, there weren't, like, Nike or, like, no. fancy sneakers. No. I bought my sneakers at Woolworths in the bin. Right. You're right. They were all, well, they were, like, the and same. You had, and, they were, and they were together by yes, the plastic exactly, thing. Right. And you would walk around in them, and your mom would be like, <laughs> your mom would go, walk, how do they feel? And you're like, I, I can't really tell. <laughs> right? Exactly. I mean, that's like, right. You would go into the bin and just, like, find, oh, this looks like they, yeah. they were all kids. Like, that was the only was, sneaker, I think, on the planet. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. And I did get a pair of fancy kids. And I remember this because they had, like, this, they had this button on the side uh -huh. that um, it was irritating iridescent, right? So Ooh. sometimes it looked purple, but sometimes it looked green. <laughs> and my mom was unclear how she felt about that. Uh -huh. She thought they, they may have been uh, a little too um, uh, fancy, uh, a little yeah. too showy. Right, yeah. She didn't want the other kids to get jealous. Right. So they went back after we brought them home. How was your Labor Day weekend? It was nice. Yeah. How about yours? It was fun. I was up in Connecticut and I went to a... Uh, hey, okay. Uh, I went to the uh, the Goshen uh, Fair, oh, which I is saw that. an annual fair uh, that I always go to. And it's so much fun because it's, um, you know, it's, it's like the prize goats and the prize rabbits. Like the 4-H club. Right, they're right. Like, and Future Farmers of America. And so that's me at the goat, one of the goats. I think that's a goat. I really don't know. It's, um, yeah, I'd say that's yeah. a goat. But they have like animals you've never seen before. They have these chickens. They have a, a whole barn full of chickens, like prize winning chickens. And there's all these breeds of chickens. Like I kind of thought all chickens look alike. Oh no, they do not. And there are oh. a, a gazillion. I, I took a, they're, they're a the, photo. They're the, the fancy footed chickens. Have you ever seen silky chickens? Yes. I'm obsessed with these silky chickens. Like look at this, look at this one. <laughs> That. Anderson, I mean, you should get silky chickens. I, I would love a silky chicken. What do you? I don't even know what. It, I mean, do well, they, you could keep them on the roof. Do you think they taste silky too? Or no, I don't, just, no, I don't think they, those are not to eat. Those, those are to show. Oh, and those you're like, oh, show. how dare you? Yeah. Like you haven't had a chicken sandwich in the last 24 hours. No, but Please. These are, I, mean, I love are, when people are like, oh my god, you're talking about killing a chicken, like. 
You're all slaughtering chickens every day yeah. of your lives. Yeah, but these and are God fancy. Them up. These are fancy chickens. Right, but not the silky chickens. These I'm sure just, you've never eaten. You know how your mom puts out the fruit bowl, but it's just for it's just for show. It's uh, just for the company. But I mean, you these chickens are like. I would just look at the stare at these chickens all day long and probably brush them all day long. Like okay. they're these chickens are the Entenmann cakes of chickens. They're not. They're just for show. Just for if company comes. Do over. you think the silky chickens know that they're better than all the other chickens? That they just they, walk yeah. around looking yeah. at the real chickens and being like, Phew. they're like this. Uh, yeah. There were rabbits. I mean, there, there was a rabbit that was like this big. There was like a huge, huge oh, yeah. rabbit. And that rabbit is no joke, too. Uh, none of them were. And then uh, then there were all these uh, rides, which kind of scare me because, you know, you don't really know how, like, this, if the, the FAA is really testing the safety of these rides. And, right. Uh, so you always I don't hear think the FAA is really responsible for <laughs> safety rights. You always right. hear stories. Right, yes. People send me, because my mom would never let me go uh, on uh, trips, like class trips and things. Really? Like she did, she eventually, she relented, let me go on the eighth grade class trip to Great Adventure, but she reminded me that my hair would probably get stuck in the tracks of a roller coaster and rip my head off. <laughs> she remind, that was her reminder out the door. Remember, your hair will probably get caught in the tracks, <laughs> so don't go on anything. Don't go on lightning <laughs> and which is ridiculous. Right. But then people will send me articles like it did happen once. Uh, so right, people yeah. in America are very helpful with telling <laughs> you'll get them now. Yeah. You'll get all the horror well, stories. Well, because there's you know there's rides that are like kind of creaky, and you sense like okay, last week or they were in Bethlehem, and this week they're in Goshen, and like you don't really know how many safety checks are being done. But that's sort of the fun of going on them, you know. Yeah. And like the the person running them is like smoking a cigarette and be like, sure, kids, go on the ride, whatever yeah. you want. But think about it. Think like we have a slip and slide at home, right? We have the slip and slide, and when the kids, cousins come over, the slip and slide always gets installed in the backyard. But we install it like three or four times a, a year, right. right? And we are always, at the end of one installation, missing a piece, right? <laughs> We're always missing a piece. We're always one piece short. If you're installing something from Bethlehem and now you're in Goshen and now you're here, eventually you're going to be like, where's track seven? Right. I don't know. Just put it together with, yeah. with wire. Fishing wire is fine. They had one of those like old time, uh, uh, you know, things with a bell on the top and you take a, a mallet and you, you smash it down, yeah. which I'd never done before. So I was there with my partner and we had four, two friends and the friends I was with, uh, my partner's in really good shape. He's like, you know, big, he's buff. Yeah, he's he buff. works his out every day. His body's sick. He his body's lifts sick. weights a lot. He gets up there, takes this mallet, and can even hit the thing you're supposed to hit. He keeps <laughs> hitting the ground. I'm like, you're at the gym every friggin' day, and you can't even, like, hit the thing? Yeah, but he's not, like, at a range where they're, it's not like they're, like, practicing aiming for something. It's right there. I mean, it's it's not as if, like, it's a moving target. It's not it's not whack-a-mole, you know? It's, it's a stationary object. And the guy, the, who, like, the attendant was just like, <laughs> and, just, and then our friend Pablo also did it. He got it like, you know, a little bit up, mm -hmm. which was mortifying. Our friend Hamilton, who I got to say, not in the greatest of shapes. I mean, I'm sure he's maybe uh, cardio amazing, but he's not like a Hamilton weightlifter. Hamilton is in good shape, but he's Hamilton, not what you would think of as somebody that would be able to ring your right. bell. He's got, he's got, he's got a, a, you know, a, a, one of those cigarette patches on his arm. Right. Gets up there. Yeah. <laughs> It went right up to the top of the bell. I'm literally, I could not believe it. I mean, of the four of us, if anyone, I would never have in the million years have predicted. He would have been the person, and, and we say this with love, because right. mad love for Hamilton. Yes. Mad love. Uh, yeah. His name is Hamilton South, and I'm desperate for Northwest to marry his son. <laughs> okay? Northwest South. Right, yeah. But literally, so he, he does it. He goes like, boom. <laughs> And then literally he's just like, and walks away. Right. Like, as if, and so anyway, he won a big prize, which he allowed me to be photographed, which, which was, My favorite. this was the giant prize. Yeah. Yep. yeah. That's a good, that's a good yeah. prize. So, <laughs> so you sent me the picture did, of yes. Benjamin with the hammer. Yeah. And so I showed it to Joaquin and Joaquin said, Benjamin's holding the hammer wrong. 
Absolutely. He said that he had it's the hammer. Technique. He had the hammer here, and he had to have it here. It had right. to go. Well, right also, back. You're, you're, what Hamilton did, which I realized, is you're supposed to, you, you know, as you go up with it, you slide your hands Slide down hand. and so you yeah. get leverage anyway. Up and down. Yeah. <laughs> hey, that's how you win the alien. Next weekend. At the carnival. When, when this ride is in your town, you will now know. Um, and please send us your gift. Yeah, and send us, yeah, send us a picture of you with your uh, gift. We won, you know, we, uh, Joaquin and I, Joaquin and I, this is going back many years. Remember the goldfish? That, oh, yeah. So we went oh, my to, God, yes. We went to a 4th of July carnival in North Haven, and um, my my son and his best friend said, can we please play the games? They didn't want to go on any rides yet. And I go, why don't we go on the rides first? Because if you win, you're, I'm going to be stuck carrying your stuff. And Joaquin looks at me, and he's like, at the time, maybe five years old. And he goes, whoever wins. And I went, good point. So, okay, whoever wins. So one is the ring on the milk thing. Right. And one, impossible. Right, impossible. And one is the darts you, that you hit the balloon oh, with the darts. Right. Uh, so Joaquin's friend Jules goes ring, 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 wins a giant, uh, wow. a giant, a bulldog stuffed animal, <laughs> which he hands to me. Uh. Joaquin goes dart, 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 goldfish in a bag. Really? <laughs> we are there for three minutes. Correct? <laughs> I spend the rest of the fair and the fireworks checking on the emotional welfare of the fish. <laughs> And fishing for more money for a fried Oreo whilst uh -huh. holding the fish and the dog and uh -huh. getting money out of my purse. But anyway, the fish lived for many years. Really? Many, many. Well, you know the fish, I mean. Well, but I never knew that it was the same fish. I was sort of assumed. No, it was of, the know. same really? fish. Really? Really? Yeah. I mean, we couldn't kill this fish if our lives depended on it. The fish eventually, I believe, flushed itself down the toilet. <laughs> the fish was like, I cannot. I was just never supposed to make it out of the bag. Did you ever have gerbils for your kids? Like, oh, when I was a kid, having gerbils was a thing. And I remember I had gerbils, and I, I guess I didn't know... I hadn't read up on gerbil breeding, and I guess they had babies. And like, I must have been eight, seven or eight years old. Oh, so excited, oh my God. Literally sitting there, and I'm like, what, what's she doing with that baby? The gerbil was eating its own baby. Oh. Uh, yeah, literally, yeah. they eat their own. Sometimes they're hungry. I was so traumatized, I was like, <laughs> I, I literally, I was, I was like looking around for any adult figure to like explain, like there's a slaughter going on in our little, like I felt like it was in that movie where you're like, you're the only one who's witnessed a crime and you're like, we're looking around for somebody to tell. I was like, uh, do I call 911? I right, mean, I literally. What I, did you do? Did you get the others out of there? I don't know. I honestly can't even remember. You I blocked was so, it out. I blocked it out. Yeah. I think I just like slowly backed up from the room and didn't speak for the next year or something. Like <laughs> it was so traumatizing. It was one of those weird things. Yeah. Um, Santa Claus brought my brought my sister um, teddy bear hamsters, and uh, teddy bear hamsters. Teddy bear hamsters. Have you ever heard of a teddy bear hamster? Oh. Yeah. Okay. So half maybe it was a hamster. I hadn't. No, no, no. Teddy bear hamsters are extra fluffy. Apparently, they're fluffy. They're fluffier than. Uh. Regular hamsters. I don't know. Santa didn't bring them to me. Leave me out of it. <laughs> but I uh, did something horrible. I didn't realize that they, you know, they cuddle together just because that's what they do. They cuddle together and they burrow into mm -hmm. the little the wood chips and. It was a gerbil attack. I kid you not. I'm kidding. The that's the sound you hear right before you have a stroke. Right. That, That's right. That, do you smell? Do you smell almonds? Toast? Just so you know. So we, I'm not sure, but as long as we all heard it, we're probably fine. Right. There was a second where I was wondering, like, oh, am I the only one hearing this? We, no, we, no, I know that when we go, it will be together. We, it will be, they will find us together, clutching hands we'll be like, like this. Like and Louise. <laughs> Archaeologists will be like, we're not sure what these two were saying to each other, right. but we're quite sure nothing was happening. They just looked that way. The strange thing is when they open up the crypt, like a thousand years from now, I will be just as pale. I will look no different. <laughs>
I will be, yeah. The only thing left of me will be my fake chan. That's all <laughs> And teeth, yes, and giant, yes, Gelman, and giant teeth. They're like, you don't have giant Anderson, teeth. yes, I do. Yes, we, yes. And they seem to keep growing. Um, Anderson was buried with his horse. <laughs> no, her name was Kelly. Um, <laughs> Oh, that's awful. Anyway, but my, but my, uh, back to the, uh, the hamsters. So I thought they were cold, so I put them in front of the heating. Like uh, we had a heating unit. Uh -huh. Okay, okay. <laughs> <laughs> and then I covered their cage with a towel to make sure they weren't too cold. Mm. And then they apparently, you know, uh, mm. suffocated. Oh, jeez. Yeah, no, wow. not, this never wow. comes, this never comes up at Thanksgiving with yeah. my sister still to this day. Yeah. Yeah. The show takes a, a sad turn. Yeah. <laughs> Anyway, I know. I've told this story 30 times on the show, and all 30 times people were like, you monster. By the way, I, I can't tell, if, I can't remember if I eat gerbils or hamsters, so please, people, don't email me saying that gerbils don't eat their young. I'm not sure which eats their young, but okay. anyway, I, it was probably my well, fault. I, are you sad about, uh, do, uh, do we have time, to, or are we, yeah, are we done? No, we have time. Have, are you sad about the new iPhone? Yeah. Oh. I'm, uh, I'm, uh, are, people are flipping out, though. <laughs> People are flipping out that... I don't know about my... How will I play my music with my But, but the, see, that's the thing. You, they still have a headphone you can plug into just the, the single jack that they, they're going to have. So it's not like you can't use a headphone. It just... It's a little different. I just don't... There's a dongle, which I don't know what a dongle I don't know is, what but, a dongle but Gelman is. is obsessed with, with the word dongle, because <laughs> yeah, backstage, he's been running around saying, dongle, they, there's dongle. a dongle, they're giving you a dongle, I'm like, to use your other. You should have been in yesterday's meeting, he said, the, he dropped the word dongle 400 times <laughs> in two minutes, and I went, calm down, we'll get you, we'll get you your dongle, don't worry. Yeah. Someone on, on CNN last night, uh, Jeffrey Lord, a, a, a Trump supporter, <laughs> said to me, uh, you want to cover every jot and tittle? I was like, every what and tittle? <laughs> what, every what? I love when people you try to, I, I'm, I'm a big fan of like people who use old phrases that haven't been around for a while and are trying to bring them back. So now I, I'm trying to work jot and tittle into every, and like malarkey. I want to use malarkey, malarkey more. We use malarkey all the time. Right, right. Malarkey. Yeah, yeah. Blimey. Blimey. Exactly. yeah. Indubitably. Oh, yes. 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 Indubitably. John, John Oliver used roll my mustache. Indubitably. <laughs> yes, yeah, that's, uh, yeah. So let's all bring those words back. Yes. It's time, yeah. We By the way, before, I just want to say one more time, for those of you not watching AC360 every night, you are missing a show. I'm telling you, it is so good. Very sweet. It is. A lot of politics these it's, days. But it's, it's such good politics, and your panels are so good, and I love when they all start shouting at each other, and then you go, guys, guys, when you're all shouting at each other, nobody's listening. I, they, they, but I'm going, I'm listening. No, because nobody at home can hear, and it's so annoying to me when like, pundits are, are yelling at each other, and they're talking over each other, because they get you know understandably excited, but nobody at home can hear. Yeah. And so the other night, I literally just blurted out, like, uh, no one's listening. And then I realized <laughs> that wasn't my inside voice. Uh, like, I realized, oh, I said that out loud. And I turned to them, I was like, of course, I mean, I'm listening, but I mean, the audience can't hear you. Indubitably. <laughs> they were like, malarkey. <laughs> so, we got a great show today, Meg Ryan. Yeah. And George E. Marcos Veto uh, from Sao Paulo, Brazil. Yeah. Wow. wow. Are you... Um, Marcos, what was that spin you did? How many times did you turn there? I think four times. Amazing. Yeah, are you a professional dancer? Yes, I'm a professional dancer. You wow. are incredible. You wow. can dance Thank here you. every day. You should <laughs> Game over. Sorry. <laughs> Sorry, everybody else, but Marco is now our only tribute. <laughs> Well, thank you so much.
let's see uh, who's on the phone. Ellen uh, Huber from uh, Eustis, Eustis uh, Florida, excuse me. Uh, hey, good morning. How's it going, Ellen? Hi, Anderson. Hi, Kelly. Hey, Ellen, what's going on in Eustis today? Oh, it's a beautiful, sunny day today, but a little cooler, which I really like, because I'm, I'm tired of the hot weather. <laughs> I'm so glad someone else on the show today has white hair. <laughs> yes, I do, Anderson. I know. I do. We, yes, you, can, you guys you can are so me. <laughs> so <laughs> um, what's So what's cooler for Eustis, Florida? Uh, in the 70s, low 70s in the morning, it's still going to be 90 today. It's oh, starting to get wow. hot, but mm. it's, it's less humid, so that feels better. Oh, yeah. good. Yeah. Cool. All right, well, let's spin the wheel, see what you're playing for. I'm, right. sure, I'm sure we'll be at... It's not a trip to Florida. Oh, no. oh good. It's not. It, it is the Gran Fiesta Americana Coral Beach uh, Cancun in Mexico. Oh. Seven days, six nights in an oceanfront junior suite. Ooh, wow. It includes a spa treatment per person. This trip is provided in part by Hotels.com. Anderson's providing the other part. It's a prize by <laughs> You have 20 seconds and only one guess. Good luck. All right. Aaron Eckhart appeared on yesterday's show. Based on whose life did Aaron Eckhart say he's writing a screenplay? His mother. Yes. Yeah. Congratulations. You would have guessed to enjoy seven days and six nights at the Grand Fiesta Americana Coral Beach, Cancun. Located on Cancun's most secluded stretch of White Sand Beach, Grand Fiesta Americana Coral Beach, Cancun offers 602 all suite oceanfront accommodations, a world class 40,000 square foot gem spa, an awe inspiring pool, a variety of dining options, and much more. Your price is valued at approximately $10,000. Congratulations. Thanks, Kelly. All right. Now you get to help make the day of a lucky member of our studio audience who will receive a $500 appliance package from Cuisinart. So please pick a number between 1 and 224. I was married on 7773, so I'm going to go for 73. All right. series MacGyver George Eads. We'll open up Kelly's inbox to hear comments and questions. Coming up next, Meg Ryan. And tomorrow show, Jessica Alba's here. And from the series Empire, Terrence Howard's going to be here. And Chef Jeffrey Zakarian will help us resolve the debate. Now, last time uh, we were yes. here, we had a big debate about pancakes versus waffles. I don't see the point of a waffle. Because you're insane. No, because there's a pancake. Why do you need a waffle? Because it a, seems like a, a lot of effort. A waffle is a pancake on steroids. We're going to resolve this debate tomorrow. <laughs> okay. All right, let's get to it. She got her big break in When Harry Met Sally and has been America's sweetheart ever since. Please welcome the lovely and talented Meg Ryan. It is different here, yeah. You haven't yeah. been here in seven years. Like maybe a thousand and seven, seven years. years. <laughs> yes. Why? Why? Uh, why? What, did, what did we do to upset you? <laughs> I'm sure it was fun. Hi. I'm so glad to see you. Nice to see you. Um, the last time I saw you, you didn't even know that I saw you because I was following you uh, downtown. You were walking and you were just walking down the street and I was like, that's Meg Ryan. I got to be a part of this. <laughs> <laughs> I really followed you. Going. I don't know. You were walking through Nolita, and I was how, just following behind you. How long did you follow her yeah, for? How long did you, where was I going? Too many blocks to, for it to be appropriate. <laughs> I don't know what where you were doing. You were just walking. I saw you once at a restaurant down there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We did, I know. I, I, but I got excited. I just wanted to follow you. I sometimes see Anderson. Really? With like a little backpack? Is that yes, you? Yes, that's yeah. me. Yeah. <laughs> I'm, I, I look like um, like a newt that's crawled out of a rock with a backpack on. That's what that's how you know it's here. Yeah, yeah. Get the blackberry going. Um, how's your summer been? 
It's been great, fantastic. Thank yeah. you. I was out in the vineyard for a while, and I nice. have a place out there. So, oh, cool. Do you spend any time out there? No, I'm I'm at the little I'm at my my local town fair <laughs> all summer yeah. long in <laughs> Connecticut. So, yeah. The vineyard is like Martha's Vineyard, right? Martha's Vineyard. And yeah. who is Martha? Have we ever? You know, some, they just were saying that they somebody started calling it the Martha. The Mar oh, really? Is, no, uh, right. Martha right. is like the daughter of somebody who, who discovered the island, who wanted a vineyard, but there's no... It's nice that she lets you all stay at her vineyard, yeah, too. Yeah. Um, Very nice. I've never been there, but I'm dying to go. I hear it's beautiful. Yeah. It's, it's incredibly yeah. beautiful. Good. How's yeah. your daughter? She's great. Thank you for asking. She's 11. Oh, my God. Wow. She started sixth grade. Oh, my gosh. She's a, discovered about herself. She's a real scientist. She told me she went to a tech camp this summer. Oh, wow. She told cool. me she wanted to be involved with STEM, which is science, technology, and engineering, and math. math? Yeah. Wow. Brilliant. That's cool. That's incredible. Yeah. She's a very That's brilliant. great. But there needs to be more women in that industry. Yeah, they need to learn how to code. These yeah. girls who code are important in the world these days. I yeah. agree. I agree. I'd like to even know what code means. Yeah, I would, too. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it has to talk about flash drives. It has something to do with a ball, I think. As I when you're a parent, do you have to pretend like you know all this stuff? Because like, that's what I, I don't have. Because I don't know. Really? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> She's like, when were you able to, when were you not no longer able to help her with her homework? Because for me, it was about third grade, I clocked out. <laughs> yeah, I was like, right, you're on your own. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I just don't know. That's right. I don't know what any, it. I don't know what any of that means. Yeah, she finds it entertaining. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> she, um, she's not actually in the little movie that I directed, but she came down and was a, a like an extra for a day. Oh, great. And um, she kept saying to me and my son, who has a little part in the movie, right. um, Mom, I know you and Jack like this, but I don't get it. Really? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. She's such a scientist about everything. Right. Uh, she does, you know, so. And your so son is an actor, an actor. full-time. A full-time actor now. Well, and how old is he? He's like 20... He turned 24 on oh. 424, and he was born at 424. Really? Morning. That's yeah. Wow. wow. <laughs> yeah. So when your daughter says... He's I not don't, as impressed by that as you guys. When, uh. when your daughter says, I don't get, you know, you and Jack, I don't yeah. get it. Yeah. Are, were you guys like, what? We don't understand coding. No, no, no. We have <laughs> so much respect for her. Yeah, right. Yeah. Little, right, her right, big right. brain. Yeah. Did Jack always want to do acting? Yeah, always. Really? He's always been doing it. Like, he's always been coming, yeah. like, his house. The house is always full of his friends coming out of one bedroom or closet or yeah. bathroom or another dressed as like a like a, a, a like but the, like Captain Crunch or the oh, yeah. Tricks Bunny and yeah. they were the superheroes like he's yeah. always been kind of like writing and producing and directing I love that that that's the age because yeah. that is the age that yeah. you would dress as the Tricks Bunny or yeah. Captain yeah. Crunch like your whole world is whatever cereal you're eating <laughs> yeah, yeah. Right? Were like cereal box right. you know like of superhero course. wars or something so of yeah. course you know when Harry met Sally the scene in Katz's Deli is the scene of the universe, right? It's like, it's all anybody ever talks about. Anderson's favorite scene. Um, have you ever gone back to Katz's Deli? No, can you never. ever go back? I can never go back. No, it's in the neighborhood too, Kelly. No, um, it is. Just can't go there. I go there all the time. Do you? Yes. Do you? You have yeah, a favorite there? I just like a pastrami sandwich, like every other girl. I could never have that. Yeah. Right. Yeah, right. <laughs> we gotta uh, take a quick break. When we come back, we're gonna talk about uh, your new job, uh, which is very exciting. Want to yeah. hear about all the new stuff? It's called Ithaca. This is... First of all, the, those kids are so beautiful and so talented. Uh, the, this is your directorial debut. You yeah. directed this film. Yeah. You're, you're in it, but you directed it as well. Yeah, yeah, I directed the movie. Um, but those kids How do you get are, through it? Were you crying as you're directing them? Because the, the, the cuteness, the sweetness, and the... Beyond. Yeah. In both of them. I mean, yeah. our, our little, uh, the star of the movie is from Kansas City. <laughs> his first real lead in something. I think he did, maybe did a TV show after that, uh -huh. but he's just got the, he's, he's such a precision instrument. Like he either wanted to be a professional baseball player uh -huh. or an actor. Wow. He's, you know, I mean, and he, and he's just as lovely as can be and so gifted. But the, and the little one was, you know, the movie is so much about innocence and the loss of innocence and what we lose when we lose that. And uh, it's, it's a coming of age story during wartime. During the during the beginning of World War Two, in, right. in Homer, the uh, dark-haired boy in that story get, has um, gets a job delivering telegrams to the families of the people um, in the town who don't wow. expect anything when when they when the doorbell rings. Oh. And um, and it's about how the community and and his 
and his mom help him make this kind of radical transition. He has to grow up really fast. Yeah. The rug really gets pulled out from underneath him. And I love the story so much because it came to me when my son was so young. And there are times, you know, when you're a parent where you start, you get this, the penny drops. Yeah. That you're not going to be able to protect them from everything. Mm. Yeah. And so then what? Yeah. You, you think about what your communi community is going to be able to offer your your children. And that's very much what Soroyan was writing about. Uh, yeah. You know, it's about the loss of innocence at a time when, one of the times when our country lost. And your son Jack mm -hmm. uh, plays your son in, in the yeah, film. Yeah, there's three yeah. boys in the movie. Wow. And he's <laughs> but what is that like to direct your son? Because I've tried to direct my son to hang his towel on a hook. <laughs> <laughs> That seems insurmountable. That's like something that can't happen. So what is he, it like? You know, truly, he came from Martin Scorsese set. He was on that HBO show Vinyl. Oh, right. oh of course, yeah. To our set, right. which was like... Uh, we were all like, oh, we have this dinky. We shot our movie in 23. He was days. slumming it. He was <laughs> we like, had no oh. money. We were like, sorry, Jack. <laughs> we're sorry. Can you get any of the vinyl yeah. craft service? <laughs> <laughs> and he kept saying, oh, mom, it's the same. Which, you right. know, I raised uh, him yeah. well. He gives That's yeah, great. Yeah, no one yeah. else is going to say that ever about uh, this course yeah, yeah. movie in mind. That's great. So, and now he's working in all over the place. So, he, and he's great in the in the film. He's got a little part. Well, oh. we are psyched to see it. It's Ithaca. It's in select theater. What a oh, pleasure. Dreamy Georgie. Thank you, everyone. Yeah. <laughs> this that's, is great. That's what I call him. Oh, yeah. Dreamy Georgie. Uh -huh. Oh, yeah. thanks. Um, so you had 15 years on CSI. That is, yeah. I mean, really unheard of yeah. in this day and age. Yeah, I think it was something like 308 episodes. Wow. wow. Was it weird stopping? Oh, uh, very weird. Cold jerky. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That it was a. I think it's. It was probably about a year and a half before I got MacGyver. Uh -huh. And you know, come on. When you're doing something every day for 15 years, right. I'm used to being in the trailer. I'm used to. I don't know. It's just kind of the whole set vibe, and then it just the stops. first. Yeah, and then it stops, and so like the first month you're like i'm playing golf every day i'm gonna get so good and then you get, you're <laughs> right. kind of over golf and then you're like, uh -huh. right. okay well what's my other hobby well i'll start drawing again or i'll take an art class uh -huh. do that for about a month and you go okay I'm over <laughs> this now and so i was really excited to get back on a set and get back to work i bet but george we have your next activity 15 okay. years from now at the when you when you when you stop with macgyver, MacGyver in 15 years we want you to start raising silky chickens. Uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. We want to yeah. come, come play with your silky chickens. Well, you, you grew up in Texas in a small I town. I did, I did. I grew up in a small town called... Uh, uh, Yeehaw, and all that stuff. Remember when they were from Connecticut before? Yeah, I know. Uh, right. Now they're suddenly... Yeah. Now they're from Yeehaw, um, Texas. No, I was from, I'm from a really small town uh, called Belton, Belton, mm -hmm. Texas. It's about... An hour north of Austin, hmm. and it's uh, about an hour south of Waco. But what were you like as a little boy? Well, what was I, baby Georgie's <laughs> like? Well, and it was it was you know growing up. I'm dating myself now, but um, I'm 49 years old. I don't. Hey, mean, so am I. Yeah. <laughs> and, uh, you guys are good. But you know, I it was before video games and all that stuff. So I played outside all day. Mm -hmm. Uh, with Hot Wheels and Army Men, and uh, my dad used to get on to me about making fires down by the creek because I'd be down there playing like I was a cowboy or playing right. more. Uh -huh. So, right, right. My mom used to be like, um, Joe Arch dinner. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> and Joe I would Arch. come running from my treehouse or something. So, I had a pretty active imagination, you know. That's probably cool. helped with the acting. I think. I think my mom on the intercom is. would be like, Anderson dinner. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, you had an intercom. <laughs> <laughs> or we can really date ourselves by going by going 
<laughs> right, exactly. Right. <laughs> I remember those days. Yeah, of course. I like that your, fir your first uh, acting gig, though, wasn't it a, a primetime soap? Yeah, yeah. I started Spelling out thing. on uh, a show called Savannah. Right. Aaron's, Aaron's Spelling. <laughs> thanks. Yeah, Aaron's Spelling really gave me my start. Well, yeah. you I got, really owe it all. You got killed off in the first yeah. episode, didn't you? Yeah, I did. And then, But, but he, he, he brought you back. Yeah, as a twin. Yeah. <laughs> as a twin. <laughs> Was he just like? You're never, let me tell you, you're never dead on a soap opera. You're just deactivated. Well, you know, the thing about a soap too is it's such a good training ground for. Oh. I mean, because you have to learn so much dialogue so fast, it, it really goes so quickly. It's the training. That it was ground. a great yeah. training ground for kind of the later work on CSI, and then CSI has just been a great training ground for what I'm doing now, because there's never been a tougher challenge than this for me. Yeah. This uh, show. It's we're we're going to talk about MacGyver in just a moment. We're going to take a quick break, and then we'll find out about that. It is. Um, the uh, concept and the idea of MacGyver just holds up so well. It does. You know? Yeah. Um, and when I went back and watched the show, I mean, I couldn't help but chuckle a little bit. I mean, it was the 80s, man. Yeah. I'm, an, I'm an 80s child yeah. and all, but right. some of the wardrobe was pretty awesome. Yeah. I think a dude had a cowboy hat on and like a, a duster. Right. Yeah, yeah. 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 That makes sense. Very odd. Yeah. Um, but I sensed that, wow, this thing, really, it's time. It's time to see the reimagining of this. And when we know we have you know, really big shoes to fill, and nobody feels that pressure more than us. I mean, I, I really want to do it justice and really kind of a tribute to this legacy. I can't wait. I've, I've yeah. got to tell you, because I love the original so much, and I am such a nostalgia buff that I, I seriously cannot wait. And you play uh, Jack Dalton. I play Jack Dalton. Um, I, I can't, I've said before that I feel like he's... Um, MacGyver's kind of metaphorical Swiss Army knife in human form, mm. right. uh, you know, and uh, well, he's really an action <laughs> hero. So it's really, it's really fun for me. And again, it's it's the biggest challenge I face. We have all this great choreographed fighting. Oh, really? So that's fun. Oh man, I lick my chops. Yeah, but is it <laughs> Are you like? Can't you guys? I always say this to actors. Why don't you utilize the stuntmen? They are there to work. Well, because I don't know. Growing up as a kid, I used to. To jump over fences and prat falls like I was getting knocked out. We'd stage fight as kids, so wow. that's kind of a dream for me. And we have a guy who's won trophies for the choreography, although I, I kind of went left when I should have gone right in a fight and I got punched right in the nose. Is that right, oh. really? Oh, yeah. Oh. yeah. <laughs> Did it bleed? Uh, just It just hurt really bad. Uh. <laughs> yeah. But um, Keep that in there. Yeah, some of the actors were pretty enthusiastic about throwing a punch. But, uh, <laughs> I, did, I, was, I was in another uh, stage fight and I could hear the stunt guy going, pull your punches, pull your punches. I was like, sorry, dude. I was so <laughs> so yeah. pumped up. We're looking forward to MacGyver. The series premiere is Friday, September 23rd. are pouring in for live Summer Memories Family Photo Contest. Here are some uh, entries that are not necessarily uh, finalists. Oh, okay. Let's see. This is uh, Lauren Caldwell and her family from Tennessee on a Labor Day cruise. Woohoo! Right. This is uh, Sunshine Matula from Pennsylvania submitted this cousin's photo. Taken, I love this one. Okay. Taken on the beach in New Jersey over Labor Day weekend. <laughs> good. Here's Jennifer Aww. Clark from it's Pennsylvania great. submitted this picture of a wonderful day on the beach in Brigantine, New Jersey, uh, with her daughters Zoe and Olivia. My sister lives in Brigantine, New Jersey. Really? Yeah. There you go. Oh, look at it. Oh, my God. How cute are these kids? Uh, Isabel uh, Alvarado from Davis, California submitted her sons Dante and Andre, uh, who says, who doesn't love bubbles? Oh, oh my gosh. Good. Colleen Dermont from Burke, Virginia submitted this picture of her husband and their two daughters watching the sun rise together. Okay, wow. check out the pajamas here. Uh, Laura Lynch from Westchester, Pennsylvania. This, the Lynch family moved this summer, so it was a very busy one for, oh for them. Oh, my God. By the way, my partner Benjamin is demanding an on-air retraction, saying that I also missed the, uh, the thing. Uh, <laughs> So that you wasn't it, the only one. You yeah. got it. Uh, hey, listen, to enter Live Summer Memories Family Photo Contest for your chance to win a trip for four aboard a Disney Cruise Line, go to livekelly.com or our Facebook page to enter. We should enter that. Well, let's do it. Oh my God. We'll be right back.
Enter live Summer Memories Family Photo Contest for the chance to win a Disney Cruise Line vacation where there's something for everyone in the family and so much more. Enter now at livekelly.com or Facebook for your chance to win. We got a lot of great emails. Uh, a lot of people are emailing about Silky Chickens. Betty uh, Greber from Princeton says she, that her granddaughter raises them. They uh, Silkies, they lay uh, light brown eggs, but they're very dumb. She said often they're scared when their own head plumage blows in from in front of their face. <laughs> <laughs> I know. I get I know the same way feel. if hair gets in front of my eyes. I'm blind. I... <laughs> And look, someone else won a, uh, an alien as well. Uh, Michelle Kelly from Peabody, oh, Massachusetts. Oh, yes. Hey, um, uh, Kimberly Cavanaugh from Syracuse, New York, says, I feel for you, Anderson. My guinea pig did the same thing to her babies when I was 10. It haunts me 30 years later. Uh, so, yes. Uh, yeah. And for the record, this is what a teddy bear hamster looks like. Oh, my like. gosh. Yeah. That's so cute. Isn't that cute? Yeah. Um, hey, on Not so cute when you're munching on the yes, baby. That's true. Jessica Alba will be here tomorrow. Terrence Howard's going to be here as well. And, and home <laughs> Thursday, September 8, 2016, and Anderson Cooper is here. Thank you, you for being here. Uh, love, yeah. love, love having you here. That was crazy when we came out. Tony Pig forgot my name, yeah, which is amazing. Really? Thank you, Tony, for finally <laughs> pulling it out of thin air. That's funny. <laughs> he goes, uh, so Kelly, um, I, uh, I saw on your uh, on your Instagram, it's your kid's first day of school today. First day of school, yes. How was that this morning? Um, it was. It really began last night, uh -huh. and it began with what my daughter thought she should wear to school versus what I thought she well, should wear Well, it's so to funny you said that because I was looking at the Instagram, and I was looking at what she was wearing to school, and I was like, I wonder how long that process of selection took how well, what was it it's still happening because i'm sure and i and i know this for a fact that she definitely put what i didn't want her to wear in that backpack somewhere <laughs> so there will be a change there will be a costume change uh -huh. but i you know we had rules when i went to public school we had rules like your your shorts and your skirts had to be a certain length mm. now it's almost in the reverse it's almost like they cannot be a certain length <laughs> or you'll have no social life ever <laughs> you know i kept saying to her i should be able to see your shorts underneath your blazer you know what i mean okay, the blazer right, was yes. hanging longer oh, and she said she goes well that's the look that's how it's supposed to look and i don't even understand why you're trying to start me out on a bad first day <laughs> <laughs> you know what i mean whereas it's uh, so easy with boys right yes. you know he just he put on what i put out for him i go right. you're wearing this he goes okay <laughs> oh, yeah oh, well, so he's sweet. the sweetest person he's the, the sweetest planet. person yeah, yeah. on the planet i always you know remember that? my first day of school like I, I remember I would always get a new pair of sneakers, but this I grew up when like the, we didn't, there weren't as I as far as I knew there weren't like Nike or like no. fancy sneakers. No. I bought my sneakers at Woolworths in the bin. Right, you're right. They were all were they, like the and same. You had to, and they were and they were together by yes, a plastic exactly, thing. Exactly right. And you would walk around in them, and your mom would be like, <laughs> your mom would go walk. How do they feel? And you're like, I, I can't really tell. <laughs> right. Exactly. <laughs> I mean, that's like, right. You would go into the bin and just like find. Oh, this looks like they, yeah. they were all kids. Like that was the only was, sneaker I think kids. on the planet. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. And I did get a pair of fancy kids, and I remember this because they had like this. They had this button on the side uh -huh. that um, it was iridescent, right? So hammer on. Absolutely. He said that he had the hammer. Technique. He had the hammer here, and he had to have it here. It had right. to go. Well, right also, back. You're, you're, what Hamilton did, which I realized, is you're supposed to, you, you know, as you go up with it, you slide your hands slide down, your hand. and so you yeah. get leverage. Anyway. Up and down. Yeah. <laughs> okay, that's how you win the alien. Next weekend. At the carnival. When when this ride is in your town, you will now know. 
Um, and please send us your gift. Yeah, send us, yeah, send us a picture of you with your uh, gift. We won, you know, we, uh, Joaquin and I, Joaquin and I, this is going back many years. Remember the goldfish? That, oh, yeah. So we went oh, my to, God, yes. We went to a 4th of July carnival in North Haven, and um, my my son and his best friend said, can we please play the games? They didn't want to go on any rides yet. And I go, why don't we go on the rides first? Because if you win, you're, I'm going to be stuck carrying your stuff. And Joaquin looks at me, and he's like, at the time, maybe five years old. And he goes, whoever wins. And I went, good point. So, okay, whoever wins. So one is the ring on the milk thing. Right. And one, impossible. Right. Impossible. And one is the darts you, that you hit the balloon oh, with the darts. Right. Uh, so Joaquin's friend Jules goes ring, 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 wins a giant, uh, wow. a giant, a bulldog stuffed animal, <laughs> which he hands to me. Uh. Joaquin goes dart, 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 goldfish in a bag. Really? <laughs> <laughs> we are there for three minutes. <laughs> the, I spend the rest of the fair and the fireworks checking on the emotional welfare of the fish <laughs> and fishing for more money for a fried Oreo whilst uh -huh. holding the fish and the dog and uh -huh. getting money out of my purse. But anyway, the fish lived for many years. Really? Many, many. Well, you know the fish, I mean. Well, but I never knew that it was the same fish. I was sort of assumed. No, it was of, the know. same really? fish. Really? Really? Yeah. I mean, we couldn't kill this fish if our lives <laughs> depended on it. The fish eventually, I believe, flushed itself down the toilet. <laughs> the fish was like, I cannot. I was just never supposed to make it out of the bag. Did you ever have gerbils for your kids? Like, uh, when I was a kid, having gerbils was a thing, and I remember <laughs> I had gerbils, and I, I guess I didn't know, I hadn't read up on gerbil breeding, and I guess they had babies, and, like, I must have been eight, seven or eight years old, oh, so excited, oh, my God, literally sitting there, and I'm like, what... What's she doing with that baby? The gerbil was eating its own baby. Oh. Uh, yeah, literally. They yeah, eat their sometimes own they're hungry. I was so traumatized. I was like, <laughs> I, I literally, I was, I was like looking around for any adult figure to like explain, like there's a slaughter going on in our little, <laughs> like I felt like it was in that movie where you're like, you're the only one who's witnessed a crime and you're like, we're looking around for somebody to tell. I was like, the, uh, do I call 911? I right. mean, I what literally. Do you call? What I, did you do? Did you get the others out of there? I don't know. I honestly can't even remember. You I blocked was so, it out. I blocked it out. Yeah. I think I just like slowly backed up from the room and didn't speak for the next year or something. Like <laughs> it was so traumatizing. It was one of those weird things. Yeah. Um, Santa Claus brought my brought my sister um, teddy bear hamsters, and uh, teddy bear hamsters. Teddy bear hamsters. Have you ever heard of a teddy bear hamster? Oh. Yeah. Okay. So half maybe it was a hamster. I hadn't. No, no, no. Teddy bear hamsters are extra fluffy. Apparently, they're fluffy. They're fluffier than uh. regular hamsters. I don't know. Santa didn't bring them to me. Leave me out of it. <laughs> but I uh, did something horrible. I didn't realize that they, you know, they cuddle together just because that's what they do. They cuddle together and they burrow into mm. the little the wood chips and. It was a gerbil attack. I kid you not. I'm kidding. That's 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 the sound you hear right before you have a stroke. Right. That, that's right. That. Do you smell? Do you smell almonds? Toast? Just so you know. So we. I'm not sure, but as long as we all heard it, we're probably fine. Right. There was a second where I was wondering, like, oh, am I I'm the only one hearing this? Now, we, no, I know that when we go, it will be together. We will be, they will find us together, clutching hands we'll be like, like this. Like and Louise. <laughs> We'll be like, we're not sure what these two were saying to each other, right. but we're quite sure nothing was happening. Right. They just looked that way. The strange thing is when they open up the crypt, like a thousand years from now, I will be just as pale. I will look no different. <laughs> I will be, yeah. The only thing left of me will be my fake Chan. That's all the only And teeth, yes, and giant, yes, Gelman, and giant teeth. They're like, you don't have giant Anderson, teeth. yes, I do. Yes, we, yes. And they seem to keep growing. Um, Anderson was buried with his horse. <laughs> no, her name was Kelly. <laughs> um, oh, that's awful. Anyway, but my, but my, uh, back to the uh, the hamsters. So 
I thought they were cold, so I put them in front of the heating. Like uh, we had a heating unit. Uh -huh. Okay, okay. <laughs> <laughs> and then I covered their cage with a towel to make sure they weren't too cold. Mm. And then they apparently, you know, uh, mm. suffocated. Oh, jeez. <laughs> yeah, no, wow. not, this never wow. comes. This never comes up at Thanksgiving with yeah. my sister still to this day. Yeah. Yeah. The show takes a, a sad turn. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Anyway, I know, I've told this story 30 times on the show, and all 30 times people were like, you monster. By the way, I, I can't tell, if, I can't remember if I eat gerbils or hamsters, so please, people, don't email me saying that gerbils don't eat their young. I'm not sure which eats their young, but okay. anyway, I, it was probably my well, fault. I, are you excited about, uh, do, uh, do we have time, or are we, yeah, are we done? No, we have time. Have, are you excited about the new iPhone? Yeah. Oh. I'm, uh, I'm, are, people are flipping out, though. <laughs> People are flipping out that... I don't know about my... How will I play my music with my But, but the, see, that's the thing. You, they still have a headphone you can plug into just the, the single jack that they, they're going to have. So it's not like you can't use a... Mm. Sometimes it looked purple, but sometimes it looked green. <laughs> and my mom was un clear how she felt about that. Uh -huh. She thought they, they may have been uh, a little too... Um, uh, fancy, uh, a little too yeah. showy. Right, yeah. She didn't want the other kids to get jealous. Right. So they went back after we brought them home. How was your Labor Day weekend? It was nice. Yeah. How about yours? It was fun. I was up in Connecticut and I went to a. Uh, hey, okay. Uh, I went to the uh, the Goshen uh, Fair, oh, which I is saw that. an annual fair uh, that I always go to, and it's so much fun because it's um, you know it's it's like the prize goats and the prize rabbits. Like the 4-H club. Right, right. Like, and Future Farmers of America. And so that's me at the goat, one of the goats. I think that's a goat. I really don't know. It's, um, yeah, I'd say that's yeah. a goat. But they have like animals you've never seen before. They have these chickens. They have a, a whole barn full of chickens, like prize winning chickens. And there's all these breeds of chickens. Like I kind of thought all chickens look alike. Oh no, they do not. There are oh. a, a gazillion. I, I took a, they're, they're a the, photo. They're the, the fancy footed chicken. Have you ever seen silky chickens? Yes. I'm obsessed with these silky chickens. Like look at this, look at this one. What is that? Anderson, I mean, you should get silky chickens. I, I would love a silky chicken. What do you, I don't even know what, I mean, do well, they. You could keep them on the roof. Do you think they taste silky too? Or no, I don't, just, I mean, no, I don't think they, those are not to eat, those, those are to show. Oh, and those you're like, oh, chicken. how dare you? Like yeah. you haven't had a chicken sandwich in the last 24 hours. No, but Please. These are, I love these are, when people are like, oh my God, you're talking about killing a chicken. Like you're all slaughtering chickens every day yeah. of your lives. Yeah, but these and are God fancy them up. These are fancy chickens. Right, but not the silky chickens. These I'm sure just, you've never eaten. You know how your mom puts out the fruit ball, but it's just for, it's just for show. It's uh, just for the company. But I mean, these chickens are like, I would just look at the stare at these chickens all day long and probably brush them all day long. Like okay. they're these chickens are the Entenmann's cakes of chickens. They're not. They're just for show. Just for if company comes. Do over. you think the silky chickens know that they're better than all the other chickens? Of that they just they walk have. around looking yeah. at the real chickens and being like. Phew. They're like this. Right, yeah. There were rabbits. I mean, there, there was a rabbit that was like this big. There was like a huge, huge oh, yeah. rabbit. And that rabbit is no joke, too. Uh, none of them were. And then uh, then there were all these uh, rides, which kind of scare me because, you know, you don't really know how, like, this, if the, the FAA is really testing the safety of these rides. And, right. uh so it's, you always I don't hear think the FAA stories. is really responsible for <laughs> safety rights. You always right. hear stories. Right, yes. People send me, because my mom would never let me go uh, on uh, trips, like class trips and things. Really? She did, she eventually, she relented, let me go on the eighth grade class trip to Great Adventure, but she reminded me that my hair would probably get stuck in the tracks of a roller coaster and rip my head off. <laughs> she remind, that was her reminder out the door. Remember, your hair will probably get caught in the tracks, <laughs> so don't go on anything. Don't go on lightning loops and which is ridiculous right. but then people will send me articles like it did happen once yeah. so right, people yeah. in america are very helpful with telling <laughs> you'll get them now yeah. you'll get all the horror well, stories there's all, you know there's rides that are like kind of creaky and you sense like okay last week or they were in bethlehem and this week they're in goshen and like you don't really know how many safety checks are being done but that's sort of the fun of going on them you know yeah. and like the, the person running them is like smoking a cigarette and be like sure kids go on the ride whatever yeah. you want but think about it think about it like we have a slip and slide at home right we have the slip and slide and when the kids cousins come over the slip and slide always gets installed in the backyard but we install it like three or four times a, a year right right and we are always at the end of one installation missing a piece right we're always missing a piece we're always one piece short 
if you're installing something from Bethlehem and now you're in Goshen <laughs> and now you're here, eventually you're going to be like, where's track seven? <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> I don't know. Just put it together yeah. with, with wire. Fishing wire is fine. <laughs> they had one of those like old time, uh, uh, you know, things with a bell on the top and you take a, a mallet and you, you smash it down, yeah. which I'd never done before. So I was there with my partner and we had four, two friends and the friends I was with, uh, my partner's in really good shape. He's like, you know, big, he's buff. Yeah, he's he buff. works out his every body's, day. His body's sick. He lives, body's lifts sick. weights a lot. He gets up there, takes this mallet, and can even hit the thing you're supposed to hit. He keeps <laughs> hitting the ground. I'm like, you're at the gym every friggin' day, and you can't even, <laughs> like, hit the thing? Yeah, but he's not, like, at a range where they're, it's not like they're, like, practicing aiming for something. It's right there. I mean, it's it's not as if, like, it's a moving target. It's not it's not whack-a-mole, you know? It's, <laughs> it's a stationary object. And the guy who, like, the attendant was just like, <laughs> and, just, and then uh, our friend Pablo also did it. He got it like, you know, a little bit up, mm -hmm. which was mortifying. Our friend Hamilton, who I got to say, not in the greatest of shapes. I mean, I'm sure he's maybe uh, cardio amazing, but he's not like a Hamilton weightlifter. Hamilton is in good shape, but he's Hamilton, not what you would think of as somebody that would be able to ring your right. bell. He's got, he's got, he's got a, a, you know, a, a, one of those cigarette patches on his arm. Right. Gets up there. Yeah. <laughs> It went right up to the top of the bell. I'm literally, I could not believe it. I mean, of the four of us, if anyone, I would never have in the million years have predicted. He would have been the person, and, and we say this with love, because right. mad love for Hamilton. Yes. Mad love. Uh, yeah. His name is Hamilton South, and I'm desperate for Northwest to marry his son. <laughs> okay? Northwest South. Right, yeah. But literally, so he, he does it. He goes like, boom. <laughs> And then, but then, and then, and then literally he's just like, and walks away. Right. Like, as if, and so anyway, he won a big prize, which he allowed me to be photographed, which, which was, My favorite. this was the giant prize. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. That's a good, that's a good yeah. prize. So you sent me the picture of yes. Benjamin with the hammer. Yeah. And so I showed it to Joaquin, and Joaquin said, Benjamin's holding 